with a voice like an angel, musical talents beyond belief, and a child's irresistible curiosity and charm, Julia Mounts brings joy to all who meet her. This 13-year-old prodigy lives in Sarasota, Florida. Her violin, piano, and voice performances draw praise from professionals and sustained applause from audiences. From a young age, it was very apparent that Julia has what it takes to make it in the business of music. Not only does she have natural talents to do it, she has a wonderful musical instinct. She has those things that you can't teach. I met Julia Mount kind of several years ago. I was really very impressed of how many things was done already for a short period of the time because she was kind of young girl and she uh, progressed really very quickly starting from kind of simple compositions and going to very advanced uh, musical compositions and she uh, participated in all different uh, competitions and festivals. Uh, she was a uh, winner of a uh, piano concerto competition for Florida. For years, Julia's talents have won her awards and the opportunity to perform with professional orchestras despite her young age. She also has a passion for dance and is fluent in three languages. I'm Julia's a French teacher and I have known Julia since she was four years old. She learns very quickly. She has a good understanding intellectually. She's like your ideal student. But what is exception of her is her personality. She is an exceptional human being. She's so compassionate and kind and gentle and very accepting of life. It was obvious from the beginning, from the first lesson she even took with my husband, Sean, that she, um, she has this amazing uh, musical talent. And I, I'm choosing the word musical because uh, anything she touches really in the musical spectrum uh, is pretty much easy for Julia. I remember, I think she broke her arm when she was six, and she still came to lessons, and she practiced the other arm. She wanted to keep improving. Something that really struck me was always her big heart. She would always ask me how I'm feeling. I met Julia when uh, her family um, started coming to St. Barbara Greek Orthodox Church in Sarasota. It was about two years ago, I think, roughly. And um, I was so taken um, immediately by, of course, uh, Julia's poise and, uh, and presence and her uh, just amazing um, pureness and sweet nature. Many, many people have been requesting. Was that angel who sang at the festival? Is she singing again this year? It was a certain help, so. Her comprehension in, in the ballet steps, in the difficulties, the ballet step, to put them together, to understand the dynamics of it, is, uh, is amazing. It's amazing for such a young girl. And, and that's a talent that, uh, that uh, not every kid possesses. She absorbed the whole thing with such an ease that it was just mind-blowing. Then I got the opportunity one day to hear her sing. And it was even more impressive because it was like you were listening to an angel singing. I put Julia to sing with my son live on stage. And um, it was a very, it, it was a very, okay, hold on. It was an amazing performance where I got to see her talent as a singer and, and not only as a dancer that I was uh, learning to see before. And, uh, and then that was the beginning of her, uh, um, you know, involvement with our school and with our system. And I immediately uh, saw an, an enormous amount of talent uh, that is uh, there. Has um, for the dance part of it, for the ballet part of it. 
She was artistic beyond belief for her age. Uh, the comprehension on the difficulties of the ballet steps, the ballet vocabulary, uh, it, was, it was unbelievably uh, impressive for me to see what she was doing. And then came Clara in, uh, in Nutcracker. <laughs> and it was like a, a sunshine <laughs> in that role. Uh, how she was only 11 years old and she could be a 15 year old girl in attitude on stage. And it was so beautiful to watch. Julia first noticed a soreness in her ankle during an intensive ballet camp in August 2014. So she rested it for a while. The ankle recovered and she resumed ballet training. By October, Julia was doing so well, she was chosen for the part of Clara, the young star of the Nutcracker. Then, the week before the first performance in December, Julia's ankle flared up again. It was so painful, she couldn't dance. Julia was devastated. A few weeks later, Julia's ankle seemed normal again, so she returned to ballet practice. She also danced and sang for three days during the Greek Glindy in February, and then performed at the Greek Talent Show. At the beginning of March, her ankle swelled up again. This time, an x-ray was performed and suspicions were aroused. The dreaded diagnosis, Julia had cancer. Julia had been affected by one of the monstrous sicknesses that we in the modern world have to face, which is osteosarcoma. And when she was diagnosed with this very rare form of cancer, we were all in shock. When I learned that uh, Julia actually had cancer, uh, I was, of course, devastated. I, um, I cried for many days, actually. I thought and prayed for her um, every, every night. When I found out about her being sick, I was uh, pretty devastated. And, um, but had faith that she would make it, that she would fight. Julia was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, a rare and aggressive bone cancer. Her strong character and determined spirit are potent weapons in this battle. Every day, Julia is fighting to survive this dreadful disease, and if possible, save her leg. I would say the one thing I know about Julia is that she's a fighter, a very strong fighter, and you give her something and she just goes all the way with it. I watch her go through treatment and pain, and she is extremely courageous and an example for all of us. It was a very difficult time, and it's still a very difficult time. She's going through uh, an expensive and hard and difficult treatment for such a young angel. Julia's medical treatment is working, and the doctors are optimistic, but the costs are very high. So Julia needs your support. Julia's treatment will cost more than $250,000. Her family has struggled to keep pace with the costs taking out a second mortgage on their home. But it's not enough, not nearly enough. So churches, musical groups, and community organizations in Sarasota have begun raising funds to help. Julia's determined optimism inspires her family, her medical team, and her supporters. There is no day that we don't have her in our mind, that we don't have her in our prayer. We truly have to do something for her for this wonderful young girl. For Julia to get treatment, certainly, you know, if, if I could wave a magic wand, she would just have it gratis uh, from the government. However, in this uh, climate, in this medical climate, uh, it has to be paid for, and it's exorbitant. My first thought was like, well, uh, all people are supposed to help as they can, because, uh, you know, she is receiving the treatment, and treatment not only kind of painful, but it's also very costly. If you enjoy the performing arts, if you believe gifted souls should be nurtured, if you watch Julia's performances and are touched by her talents, then please help. Hello, my name is Julia Mounts, and I have bone cancer, osteosarcoma. It is a cruel disease which eliminated my favorite activities, singing, piano, ballet, and many others. I'm receiving treatment every day, and the tumor in my lower leg is shrinking. The doctors say there's a chance to save my leg. But to do that, I will need to go through a long and very expensive treatment. But with your help, 
I am sure I will be able to win the battle against cancer and return to my normal life. We need more than your money. We need your prayers. We need your help letting others know of Julia's plight. With your help, Julia will survive this battle and may be able to keep her leg. With your help, Julia will continue to warm the hearts of audiences with her talents. With your help, Julia can inspire us all.